So we are already 13 years in this camp. Yeah. Yeah. And every year we are growing. Yeah. God bless us in our ministry here. Even though we are living in as displaced people or as refugees. Mela, now this is called Mela and also called as black backlog. One of the one of the what do you call it the a good things about our cramp people is we are very uh, what do you call we even if we are displaced uh, we have been displaced long time ago before we come to Thailand eh? because uh, the, when fighting going on we just move have to move from one place to another place but we still use use our own name, uh, the original place where we come from. So when Mela, people from Mela came here and set up living as a community here, they call themselves Mela because they, they, have, they come from Mela. And when, origin, when we came here in 1990, we are only about uh, three or four thousand people. Now, uh, after after the fall of Manaplo, after the the DKB is split from the Khmer army, and they are being used as uh, to cross the border and create problems. No? They burn the the camps, they kidnap people, uh, kill people, and all like that. And then finally, the Thai authorities uh, move all those smaller camps and to this Mela camp. Eh? So making it a very big camp. Now we have. 41,000 people. It's like a big city. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. So from three, four thousand people now it's jumped to 41,000 people. And it's now it's a big, a big camp. One of the biggest camp. No? Out of the seven, now we have seven uh, refugee, Korean refugee camps along the border. For especially uh, those years 90 and 95, 6, 7, or 19, all these very critical years, eh? yeah. with all the fightings and with all the bombing and the, the military bombarded all the Kran camps along the border, eh? the stronghold of the Kran stronghold along the border, including the headquarters.